Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the Dixie Cooking Hour. My name's Nathaniel Lee. I'm gonna start it out like I start every show. Pop a good old American beer. We're gonna have one drink for uh, Cousin Ricky. Uh, as you know, Cousin Ricky got hurt last week uh, when we did the show, Make Sure It's Dead. When you get something on the side of the road, you gotta, you gotta make sure you kick it a good bit. I got a letter coming in from uh, Jenny from Old Hickory, and she asked, uh, Hey, my kids are out uh, working in the field 12 hours a day. How can she keep them out there without falling asleep? I know exactly what you mean, Jenny. We'll start out a little breakfast, you know? You gotta start your day off right. You gotta make sure you have everything, you know, here with you. You have your uh, napkins. What you wanna do is you wanna take some, some classic Wonder Bread, American bread. Bread is just, uh, it's very easy. Bread was invented in uh, 1743 uh, by an American. So what you do is you just grab, you know, a slice, uh, two, four, eight slices. I don't know how many kids you got. I don't know how big of a field it is. And what you do is you're going to take some jelly. You just spread it on. Squeezable Welch's American Jelly. God bless the guy who made this, am I right? You want some jelly. It's good for the belly. It's a little fancy, about as fancy as we're going to get. I don't want to take all the time of making this, so we already have one pre-made over here. Uh, my cousin Billy is filling in for Ricky. He's not that. He just started today. Thank you, Billy. And you already, we already have it pre-made. Look at it right here. You just smear it and you give each kid one of these. He should be good for 12 hours. There's a lot of sugar. There's a lot of stuff in there. Just good old fashioned. Ain't nothing on here that's not American. This is uh, the food that our troops are fighting for. I'm not even sure if the toast was made in America, so I don't like to use it unless I get my fact checkers to check on that. You don't need electricity for any of this stuff that I am doing today. We're gonna take another, another mail we got in. Uh, this is from Christine in Mount Juliet. She says uh, her husband works for the city, only gets a 30 minute lunch break. Her husband comes home and eats lunch during his break. He uh, needs his lunch quick or, you know, or, oh geez, or he beats her, which, uh, you know, we don't always want that. So I'm gonna tell you how to make a quick lunch, all right? We don't want you to get punched anymore. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this Wonder Bread right here. It's nice and quick. I think you should, you know, you should probably Work on this before he comes home. I wouldn't wait to the last minute. That's probably the, the problem. We're just using classic bread like that. Whoa! Oh, Damn, it. Uh, I'm so, Ricky's not here. So, uh, you know, we'll use this next week. I can show you what to do with that. You can always keep using that. You know what? And if you're really mad at your husband, you put it on the bread. If you don't, That's up to you, Christine. I don't know if you want to get killed over this. But uh, what you want to do here is you want to get uh, two Classic Wonder Bread, another piece of Wonder Bread. We're gonna stick with Wonder Bread today. It's a big part of uh, America. And uh, and what you take is you take some uh, take some bologna right here. You know, you go to the store, you look for America's favorite. America voted. This is what they chose over everything. Cars, women, they chose bologna, all right? It's over 120 years it's been America's favorite. It's a long time running, all right? You know, I don't think the label would lie to us, so why, you know, don't ask questions. Take this bologna, you're gonna pull some bologna out of here. You lay it on there. Look, I'm already, I'm halfway done, Christine. He could be pulling in the driveway. We can still get this sandwich done. Yeah, we're gonna go with, uh, we're gonna go with some cheese. Let me tell you what kind of cheese we're gonna do. Guess what it is? American. Anything that says American on it, I will buy. I don't do Swiss. I don't do anything with holes in it. The cheese got holes in it. They can't afford a whole cheese. Like, uh, it is, it is tough to get into this American cheese. Just like it should be tough to get into America, but it's not. It's easy. You take the cheese, plop it down. We're done, Christine. This is too this is too fast. There's no reason you should be getting hit over this. And what you want to do, you take some mayonnaise, all right? I like to do the stars and bars method. You do one across, one across, and I make a square. A little southern heritage. That's where he knows where he came from. You can leave the sandwich open, show him that you care. Because Ricky. Oh now, cuz Ricky. Come on now. Alright, there he is. Here he is. He takes a little bit. Now this is a sandwich already pre-made. And I already put chips on it. You just buy a bag of chips and pour some chips around there. I even put some chips on the sandwich. I don't know what you want to do. You can do that, you cannot do that. This is your life, Christine. I don't know how hard he hit you. All right, Christine, well, we want to thank you for writing in. Loved you, write back to me. Let me know how it's going. Let us know how y'all are doing and if you got any young ones on the way. Our last letter is from Abigail from Demopolis, Alabama. Abigail writes that her son just turned 42. Well, congratulations to your son. And uh, on his birthday, he actually gave his mom a present. He finished the basement and now they don't have to live on the same floor together. It's got its own separate entrance and everything. That is awesome, Abigail. Good for you. So you want to cook him a nice dinner. You want to show him thank you. I understand, Abigail. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook you a nice Italian meal. We're going to cook you a uh, some spaghetti. It's uh, just a good old-fashioned spaghetti. It's actually one of the oldest 
foods that they have over there, what they brought over when they wanted to come to America. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna take this Dixie plate. I always stick to Dixie. I like to break them in. I chew on one, you know, just as you cook, which is nice. So what we're gonna do, Abby, is I've had some noodles cooking over here and I got them boiling. So what you wanna do is you take these noodles. You gotta be careful, they're boiling. They've been boiling for a while. I need to, give me the, the stringer. Billy. Billy. Get it. Billy doesn't, he, he's learning, but Cousin Rick will be back. We're gonna take it, you take the stringer, you're gonna pull it up. Now you got these noodles, now you wanna see if they're done. And you throw them right on the wall there. Look, it sticks. What you do is you always eat that when it's good luck. So what you wanna do is you'll take the spaghetti, you can grab it, you put it on a plate, right? So we'll do a little quick one, so a quick one on a plate. You got it on a plate, nice and well, it already looks good. We'll make it better, all right? What you wanna do is I got this sauce over here, it's actually still a little hot. You wanna take this sauce, and I like to take out half of it. There's always a lot of onions and uh, some big chunks of tomatoes. You don't want that in there. So I take out half, I put some water in there. So, uh, dude, you want to pour it on there just all over the place. Uh, you know, you got to get more sauce than noodles is what you want to do if you want your boy to like it. Oh, shit. Uh, well, what you, that's, why, that's why we got this. So you take this and you, uh, <clears throat> you got to clean off the table. It's, it's easy. How easy that was. It just wipes right up. These are great. These were, uh, 50 for 79 cent. And let me go ahead and get the final, the final thing. Ricky, there we go, Ricky. Look at it. Look at it right there. And what we got here is just a final man. This is just fantastic right here. And your son is gonna be so happy. And you know what? You can tell him to go downstairs and eat it. And he can watch his own shows and you can go back to your shows. Let me tell you, I really appreciate your mail letters and we are gonna get the internet soon. We will get that electronic mailing in because I know it takes you a while and sometimes your mail doesn't come in until a few weeks after we've already shot the show. So we want to thank y'all for doing it. Cousin Ricky, I wish you the best. He'll be back next week, folks. And we got a great show for you lined up next week. We got some salsa. We're going to make it a pretty nice exotic meal. It's called nachos. I don't know if you've heard of it, but nachos actually uh, came over here from an illegal, but he's got his papers. We checked it out. I wouldn't show it if he wasn't American. And uh, it's, it's a great meal. So just tune in next week. You can see some, uh, some nice exotic nacho food. And uh, we'll move on. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, and y'all come back here. Close your eyes, close the door. You don't have to worry.